Okay, so my first question is why did you pick Morgantown to kick off the last leg of your tour? Uh, I told my booking agent that it'd be fun in the winter to play uh, college towns, uh, largely. And uh, so he's, uh, obviously the first college town I think of is Morgantown, and it really is, to me, the ultimate place for that because it's where I spent many a Saturday growing up, going to football games. and. Um, According to several publications, it's the number one party school in the world as well. So, um, when you want to set the tone for a tour, there's nothing quite like Morgantown, West Virginia. We'll know we did a good show if there's couches on fire tonight. <laughs> you should probably shouldn't be encouraging that. <laughs> I'd say, I say, do it. It's, it's uh, you know, it saves having to put them in a dumpster somewhere. Right? Okay, I think that's all. <laughs> um, I'm Brittany from the Clarksburg Exponent. Mm -hmm. um, how does your upbringing in West Virginia sort of influence the songs that you write? Well, I mean, I think every writer is influenced by how they grew up, and I'm lucky to have come from a place that was very, very much exactly what you would expect for kind of training for writing country music. You know, the area of Wheeling and uh, Moundsville and all that is a, is a very... Uh, rich musical place with really kind of the second most famous old time radio country show you know with the jamboree there and and so that training for me was invaluable I got to play for so many people that that kind of showed me how to do this that I wouldn't be here without it I think if I was born somewhere else I don't know necessarily what I'd be I'm Aileen Berry, and I was here last night. I'm with the Huffington Post. I live here in Morgantown now. Great. Love the concert. Oh, I hope you had a good time. Yeah, it's great. Did I so, name drop Morgantown and Mountaineers enough? A few times. <laughs> yeah. That's great. You'll hear Packers in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question, um, because West Virginia has so many disadvantaged kids, mm -hmm. and you've made it really big. What advice would you give other young people who are looking to try to escape the poverty and the different things? They grew up with here, a lot of them. Well, let me think about that. I mean, I think everybody's path is different. I think it's just using your gifts, whatever they may be, um, to do good things. And that's truly not always obvious. Um, but I think the people that get successful have two things in common. And one of them is that they don't take no for an answer, uh, no matter what. They sort of kind of plow past roadblocks. And then the second thing is, is they capitalize on their strengths, you know, um, and make the most out of what they are good at. And uh, like, I was never going to win the Nobel Prize for mathematics and science because I'm, I have no ability on the math side of things. Uh, and thankfully, that also meant I had no interest in it. <laughs> but I was talented musically, but I, by no means was I, was it easy. I had to work really hard to, to get better, uh, and I was lucky to come from a place where everybody was very supportive. And that's one thing about West Virginia, may not have it all, but they're, they're a very supportive place. Communities are very supportive people, and we kind of stick by our own, so that's what I would say. Thank you very much. Sure. Brad, Matt Sunday with the Dominion Post here in town. Hi, Matt. Um, curious about know you're a huge football fan what yeah. was the experience like coming out here for game day you oh, know in Morgantown and really you know what's your prediction for next year for the Mountaineers uh, I don't know enough about what they're gonna be like next year uh, I know they start over in a lot of positions next year um, so I you know I honestly they defied a, a lot of expectations this year I don't think anybody saw them beat Baylor and, uh, I don't know what the spread was before that game, but obviously a lot of people lost money, which I love it when that happens with the Mountaineers. Um, I know one thing, though. That the, the best thing about it is that they find a way to compete with with sort of not as many advantages as a lot of other teams, you know. And, and uh, it's impressive over the course of time how well this college has sort of held its own. And, I think they'll continue to surprise us in good ways. I hope next year there's a couple of things that none of us are expecting again in a good way. Hi, 
I am Hannah Hartless, I'm with the Daily Anthem, and my question is, um, what's the first thing you think about when crossing West Virginia reporters? Um, <clears throat> first thing is, does anybody know I'm here, and who do I, like, can I get away with not calling certain people, or do I need to <laughs> exactly. admit I was here? Like, today, they know I'm here. Yeah. So, you know, family <laughs> members have shown up, and, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you can sneak across, but <laughs> most of the time, you're... It, yeah, they know you're here. So it doesn't help when you're in a bus. You know? I could rent a car and drive through the state pretty easily, but when you come through here with trucks with your picture on them, um, <laughs> it's not easy to get away from people that uh, that you owe money and uh, old old town acquaintances. You know, and Facebook doesn't make it easy anymore either. Oh, definitely. Everybody knows where everybody is now. So now it's fun though. I I say that with a kidding. I love being here. And um, there's no one from high school that I would dread seeing. It'd be fun to see any of them, you know. I, uh, I forgive every wedgie, every, every black eye that I ever got, you know. It's all forgiven. It's all, all the past. Big smell, WDTV. And actually, she asked a great question. I was going to ask a question very similar to that, so I'm just going to slightly edit it. Um, but... When you were growing up, 12 years old, 14 years old in Glendale, I mean, could you have ever imagined yourself being here today in this position? And for the kids out there in West Virginia who are looking at, okay, what do I need to do to realize my dreams? What do I do? Uh, the, I think maybe I, I think a, a, the best answer I could give, the most honest answer I could give is that I could, I could imagine it. And maybe that's why uh, I was able to do it because I, I really don't think if you if you can't imagine it Imagining is one thing though, but if you can't imagine it, then you're not going to do it um, Was I confident in it? No, but I could imagine it you can you know everybody Everybody hopefully can fantasize about success and I think that that's a very healthy thing to do and I think that you have to sort of see the goal to get there and so in this case yeah, I mean, I, I was very much, this is exactly, it's way more than I expected, but it's exactly what I was hoping to do, which was, my, my main goal was to someday be a member of the Opry and to have my own tour bus. That was the goal, as far as that to me was a signal of, okay, you're going to tour the country, you're going to play songs for people, and you're going to be regarded as a member of the Opry and somebody that has a home there, and, uh, and obviously those things were met and, and then some but you know dreams are very important things